You are listening to Unity in Our Community on Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. Today's guest on the show is Rhys from Screen Alliance Wales and we will go back into that interview right now. What do you see like at the moment like for the future of the film industry in South Wales? It's just it's just quite a sort of having to just sort of try and sort of find this place. I mean, it's still sort of it's still comparatively early days, you know, th- things are going on and it's just trying to sort of um you know that that we have a range of studios that are able to sort of offer a diverse range of things. Um it, it, I know sort of Northern Ireland kind of have not kicked on quite as much after Game of Thrones because I think Game of Thrones is almost so big it kind of drew everything and then kind of like there wasn't a structure I think they were tr- in Wales were trying to sort of make sure that sort of in general we've got big productions but lots of smaller things as well to try and make it more sustainable in terms of that's sort of like you know sustainability it's not just about the environment black aspect which is playing a bigger and bigger uh, part in our own production you know it's just today so we've had now for the second job in three weeks we're advertising sustainability role uh you know with production but you know sustainability is having the infrastructure there for the future which is kind of why um, um jane tranter of bad wolf set us up is in the fact that kind of she wanted the industry to thrive in wales yeah. And the only way you can do that is if it's backed up with a talent coming through. Um, and, you know, it's about making people aware of what skills we need, you know, and sort of, you know, we work with, yes, it's the, the camera skills, the sort of acting skills, but, you know, this is also the carpenters who work forward across the road from here and sort of, you know, who build, you know, the building the sets and, you know, the caterers that sort of, uh, to, to you know provide yeah. all the sort of services and the, all the sort of different honey honey wagons and the trailers that go out to productions and you know, then sort of like you know and any kind of production is like a small military campaign really it, it seems to be the kind of <laughs> sort of going through and sort of uh uh it's quite a, a, a mad old thing but yeah yeah it's uh, so i think it's about sort of putting and having that infrastructure in place and having those various things that kind of um even when we're going through a quiet time in in wales then there's a opportunity that we're trying to sort of ensure that we make it as great an experience for production companies there's currently a production shooting up in north wales we're working with and you know me us myself and uh, some representative of various organizations we're all there just trying to bend over backwards and make sure that everything's smooth over because if that production have a pleasant experience they'll come back hopefully and they and utilize even more of the facilities up here yeah. for a next series and then or if you get a repeat big series coming back then hopefully that then sort of you get the kind of people on the edge coming think, oh if they've got a film there well then obviously there must be something attractive to for us to go and film there and it's that yeah. kind of you you know they the kind of build it and they will come sort of thing yeah i always say that that's from yeah, yeah. film isn't it i yeah, always say that i feel the dreams are you? Yeah. yeah i love that i always i literally that sticks in my mind i always say if you yeah. build it they will come yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um yeah because i guess um it's very competitive with the london studios but haven't some of the london studios now been taken over by certain like production companies um yeah, no, there's it's quite a bit of expanse going on in London, and I think it's, but I think there's still that sort of balance in terms of, as I say, it's about meeting different needs, and um, I think it's, it's it's about, you know, um, the size and scale. I was down at Leavesden a few weeks back, and you know, it's just there and everything's just sort of massive, mm. but you know, sort of it's um, it's about the whole package. There's the and you know again talking back the whole sustainability thing and you know we we've uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the the Albert scheme so at the end of TV programs there's a basically the, the the green certification for a production is to have the Albert certification so and if you see at the end of the credits and you see Albert it means they've 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 got implemented a, a fair number of um, environmental uh, uh, processes. But a lot of those things aren't just associated with recycling and things like that. It's about thinking about um, health and well-being of, you know, 
So the things that we're discussing at when when new new those studios are having redeveloped. Yes, they're talking about sort of uh, energy, sort of um, insulation, you know, recycling facilities, all that, you know, psych transport things. But they're also thinking about putting gardens in and somewhere where people can go and sit when sort of you know when you're in that sort of uh, headspace, be able to go and have gardens, uh, quiet spaces where people can go and sit and and, and go through. But on that particular sort of like the fact that the the young people coming in are having to fight against obviously the whole thing of covid and sort of having spent two years without sort of the the, the mm. same social interaction so so yeah there's a bit in terms of that kind of broader ethos of what sustainability is 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 actually what we're aspiring towards in the industry mm. and also you know having more production staff you know that don't have to come necessarily from abroad or from London you know to travel here so you have a workforce here as well that that's that's a green thing isn't it as well it is and then I'm trying to make sure that that is it's there on call you know uh, it's it's you know we've, we've seen people who have come to Wales to work in a production and have stayed here and have ended up you know moving here full time um, but we've also had, you know, but you've also got some people who come work and then go back, and then that means you're kind of like scrabbling around for for, for um, crew. Then when the next production comes, so yeah, very much we're trying to tap into um, the local population, and it is huge portions of people who's never considered working in the industry before, and it's another part of kind of like trying to sort of. You know, uh, trying to reach out in terms of uh, uh, improving the diversity in the industry, in the fact that there there are uh, portions of society where they sort of culturally they kind of they they don't, you know, we've had uh, a young girl who's uh, from uh, sort of some of the local communities in Cardiff, and probably she she was demonstrating great skills as sort of cinematography camera skills within school. And one of the biggest challenges we had was trying to convince her parents to let her come and work instead of going to university, you know, and, you know, we're saying, well, you know, if this is what she wants to do, she's in the right place at the right time, you know, well, she can take a year out, she can still go to university afterwards. And so it's those sorts of things. So it's trying to tackle the sort of different sort of cultural sort of um, uh, understanding of the, of the industry. Mm. Um, and also it's about changing the story, to, you know, changing the narratives within sort of the content that's being generated within this industry. You know, we, we need different storytellers, you know, sort of uh, in yeah. the industry as well. Absolutely. I mean, people are always searching for those different stories aren't they in the new stories like as an as an audience like as somebody yeah. who, who is a consumer of film and tv that's that's what you want isn't it you want something fresh you want something new you want something you haven't seen or heard before well i do yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. you know and it, is, and it is that thing but obviously when you're talking about these multi-million pound projects it is like so because I, I and i go around i mean with, i do workshops we discuss this and so sort of, you know it's uh, if if you know I, I do a a marketing workshop we talk about the sort of the things that um instigate films and sort of i suppose more so with the big blockbuster films is the fact that when you're going to be spending sort of half a billion dollars on something then you want to be as sure a bet as possible so therefore they've been a bit slower in terms of sort of um changing certain narratives but we're seeing sort of some you know, really interesting sort of um, sort of things. It was kind of like it was, you know, when when uh, I was watching last year, sort of the the Miss Marvel series on sort of on Disney Plus, and the fact that kind of like that that uh, is actually a, a key part of that was the partition of India. It was kind of like a key part of the storyline in that, and it's kind of like thinking, crikey, I didn't I didn't expect to have a kind of this cultural story being told in a in a, in a you know I'm I'm not even from that background, but it's sort of it's. I'm, I'm aware of what happened, but it was it was nice. I think if I if I was from that background, I'd be good to have awareness raised of stories within sort of you know from from different cultural backgrounds. Yeah, absolutely. I think I remember that actually, and thinking that myself, like, yeah. wow, wow, look at this, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, in front of our eyes.
You are listening to Unity in our community on Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. 